So this can either be something that's going on with your children here that's been a little bit difficult or perhaps you're having a hard time for another situation too. Maybe there is people who are trying to love you through this very um, sensitive situation. Again, three of swords is always pain, heartbreak, loss, sadness, you know, whatever it was, but whether it's betrays, betrayals and there could be people that are trying to gift on you and love on you and give you small gestures or messages and check in or perhaps grievances as well. But this is talking or condolences, sorry for your grieving, but there is a lot that's happening that I know that you guys are um, able to receive this. Now we also have the page of Pentacles can also talk about if we're, this is a love offer, maybe someone gave you a little less than what you thought or you're feeling underappreciated or perhaps it's not much now we'll find out a little bit more about this we're going to see a bit more but again it's the heart space so this is also asking you to spend some time healing your heart and giving to your heart and find and do things that make you happy what brings you joy was introduced to me like two months ago and that was literally why i started unpacking things i started putting away things if it doesn't bring me joy i don't even want to see it <laughs> like I, I know it's maybe a little toxic but at the same time i'm putting this out here for you so that whatever this gift is whatever these offers of love are um this could be from family because again pages always represent kids but this can also talk about us stepping into this beautiful energy of a new beginning and this might be after a period of heartbreak where you get a new offer coming in someone does want to give you this beautiful energy let's see what else is coming through for my leos and again all the retrogrades are over so now you're back in that beautiful energy and like I mentioned with that Mars energy you're probably feeling a lot more motivations to close out some painful chapters this can be closure this can be healing um, there could be a lot of cycles that have ended and perhaps it's also about you know enjoying um, this this time here with the roses it's always like smell the roses while you can like spending this time or give people the roses while they're alive there's so much significance here and it could be again like i said grieving some situations and having this new cycle of life and following your heart leo you're ruled by the heart you rule the heart space so that is your organ that is your energy and it's also the courage, the bravery that you possess in order for you to embark on this new journey. And I feel like for many of you too, your heart is leading you into a new direction. And it could be maybe after a separation or a loss that you and your children are now on a new path. But this is also leading you to this beautiful new beginning hermit energy. So some of you could be Leo and Virgo cuspers. And some of you might also just be needing to know that it's time for you to reflect on situations and heal this. And this could have been a long time for for you or this could have been a, a very painful loss and it's asking you to open up and follow the path trust that you are being guided and trust that you've learned some really painful lessons and leo here you are with the strength card having the courage and bravery i don't know it's making me think of of how the the lion in uh mm, dorothy what is it called He's like, I'm looking for courage, you know, needing courage. And it's just really, really helping you tame this beast, but also prepare and turn to the sunlight and really step into that, that energy of, of allowing yourself to trust this new direction. Thank you, the Wizard of Oz. So it's about like, you know, stepping out and allowing things to, to be revealed for you and having that courage and faith. And Leo, you're already coming through your energy. So it's like, having the courage to heal, having the courage to let go, having the courage to take the next step, having the courage to get help, whatever it is for you that's coming through here. But we have this new pinnacle. Um, pages is also new energy. So this could be a new energy that's coming in to help heal that. Now I can also be in love because there could be some new connections, but let's see. Right, we got the nine of wands, wounded warrior. You've been through so much. This could be so much in a marriage. This could have been situations that were 
preventing you from doing the things you wanted to, or perhaps you were really burdened and hurt in this situation. Um, some of you might also be really struggling with other stuff to have to do with your childhood that you've learned now that you're healing to move forward from. Um, this can also be circumstances that have just kind of piled up. Like you feel like there's just so much pain, so much hurt, so much heartbreak, and it can be a lot at once or a lot all of a sudden. Hierophant here, Taurus energy, but it's also talking about seeking spiritual guidance, seeking a mentor. This is also turning to faith and having someone help you guide you through this. This can also be marriage. So for some of you too, there could have been a lot of challenges or struggles, but this is leading to a union, leading to this beautiful connection that is going to help you have that faith and perhaps even find faith again. Um, you know, I always pray with God and I pray with angels and I always pray for all of you. So even when you find this video, there is a part of divine guidance here, divine protection. And this is what's also helping you with the Queen of Cups. If you are a mother, you're a loving mother. But there's been so many challenges where sometimes you might feel like that's not what you're able to do or perhaps there's been a lot of challenges with your children or this person if you're with a partner they could have been very immature and that was always kind of creating this pain and struggle but she brings lotuses to life and lays them in the water and this is like you speaking lovingly you speaking patiently you learning how to express yourself and how to turn these seeds into full bloom so there is a a part of you that is also repurposing because she's standing in the water so even when you're in these painfully emotional places you still know how to be delicate sensitive and caring and loving and that my darlings is literally feminine grace that is the definition of being able to transmute so much and that is look at this with bringing in this night okay so night someone is definitely coming towards you to express their love someone is coming towards you to share their love and they're also meeting you in the depths that you are um again knight in shining armor doesn't really signify anything but this can also be an apology someone could be apologizing for a situation where perhaps you've closed yourself off and you're healing through or from but this can also be someone offering it could be a new person or someone with children can be a partner if you are married maybe you've been through a very difficult situation and they're there to support you they're there to help you get back to this place of emotional stability and security and we also have the two of cups i mean you can't make this is so beautiful oh my gosh leo I love love sometimes, Leo, and it's so strong here, okay? Someone is definitely matching your energy, matching your love language. Um, I feel like no matter what you've been through, this person has truly shown you that I've got you. I'm not going anywhere. I'm loving you through this. And at the same time, too, if you are in a place where you don't have that, that's what you're calling in because you have learned how to repair and how to turn all of this this painful energy into loving purpose and that's what's helping you with the nine of cups this is what you're wishing for for the ten of cups you're wishing for this person you're wishing for that love to come towards you you're holding your cup and this is wish fulfillment happiness but i want you to also just see the abundance there were lotuses here right we've got all these lotuses and then here every cup is full of fruit Fruit represents abundance, blessings, and opportunities, and you're literally being showered. Hawaii could be significant, or again, um, you know, these beautiful hibiscuses could be significant, but it's also talking about what you are closing yourself off to and recognizing that sometimes our heartbreak and devastation, though it is valid and though it is a part of our soul journey, but when we're in this painful place, it does block our happiness and blessings. And I'm not trying to make anyone feel guilty because I know sometimes when you're really hurting, you feel bad for being happy, but it's also allowing you to understand that whatever was lost can now help you from the other side. Two of Swords is also a disconnection from the heart space, which is why I feel like that is happening because whatever this situation was, you're still unsure to open up. And it can be because of past situations. It can be because of the, the emotional and, and physical baggage that has come with this or, or the abuse or whatever this was for you and your, your dynamic whatever it was that you had felt that you had to build this wall around your heart you you aren't open yet and that's why you're not seeing perhaps maybe what someone is wanting and willing to give to you and that's why it's saying focus on your heart right now open up listen to your heart allow for this beautiful energy to 
release because she's closed off and blocked. So some of you could have to do some heart healing work, some frequencies, uh, 432 Hertz is very powerful and also any of the loving vibrations and energies as well. But that's what's gonna help you. And this is, a, this is a personal journey right now for you to be able to step into this energy. You can have this again. You deserve this again. And in many ways, you still are this. It's just that right now you have to tend to your emotions, you have to tend to your heart and it's it's almost like you're you're operating on your own heart right now in order for it to release whatever this this pain is and to recognize where it is leading you because it is leading you into a new direction it is asking you to have faith and it could be in a marriage it could be out of a marriage or it can be into one however this is coming through for you it is bringing that beautiful loving energy so that you are able to share this commitment and connection and if you are in a commitment and a connection and struggling with grief or struggling with loss it is helping you and at the same time it is also here encouraging you to reach out for help that's why i have end suffering in silence the code purple link is in my bio where you can speak to not just um professional resources but even in the spiritual community find sound therapy healers and that's why i'm offering every thursday for the month of february for one hour healing frequency sessions where i will be using my vibrational skills and healing techniques with different tools to help align your chakras and cleanse and remove all these painful blockages removing and healing those emotional releases that we're going to let go of and then cleansing and buffering our our auras so that we continue to be protected in order for us to have this beautiful security as opposed to us hiding we're going to be able to allow this growth to happen and be able to have that loving energy again and this is where you will continue to be showered with that love of the divine because you are protected and wanted and needed and it's just that this cycle had to close these losses had to happen but whenever something is taken something more beautiful is blessed upon us and so getting us back into this energy takes time to process so this is a painful process but i just want you to have some faith that you will grow from this and you will bloom again and you will look beautiful again and feel amazing and 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 i'm not talking about the physical i mean within the garden the garden that feels like the Sahara right now, or even just a just a big crater, right? Because sometimes loss leaves the biggest holes in our soul, and this is how we can kind of bring that together and close that gap and build a bridge of love and healing. So I hope this helps Leo to give you some clarity and to give you some guidance, but there is definitely someone very significant, loving and caring and compassionate towards you that is around you or wanting to come towards you. So please don't forget that you do have support and you are loved through this, even though right now it feels like the world is in so much agony and turmoil in your heart space but just know that this too shall pass and you will have what you need through this god bless you and we'll see you really soon leo take care